モアミダブツ。ナモミダブツ。ナモアミダブツ。ナモミダブツ。ナモアミダブツ。ナモミダブツ。ナモンダーナモンダーナモンダーナモンダーツ。Hello, and welcome to the Tri State Denver Buddhist Temple's June Shotsky service. This is the service for June 27th, 2021. We are really glad you could come and join us once again here to hear the Buddha Dharma. Service order for today will be Sanbu Jo. You can find Sanbu Jo on page 35 in the Blue Denver Service Book. We'll then have Sanbu Tsuge. You can find Sanbu Tsuge on page 53 in the Blue Denver Service Book. We're then going to have a reading of the Jun Shotsky names. Then we'll have a reading of the Three Treasures. You can find the Three Treasures on page 106 in the Blue Denver Service Book. And finally, we'll have a Dharma talk in English. Thank you once again for joining us here on Tri State Denver Buddhist Temple's YouTube channel. And if you like this service and want to see more like it, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And if you don't have a copy of the Blue Denver Service Book, don't worry, because if you look in the description below, you'll find a hyperlink to a PDF version of the Blue Denver Service Book where you can download it, print it off, or leave it on your desktop for future services. Please have a happy, healthy, and wonderful weekend, and we'll see you again next week.
Today, we are remembering Jun Shotsky families. Please join me in Gashov as I read the Shotsky names. If you have a family on this list, please feel free to Oshoko at your home of Butsudan. Kegun Yoichi Fushimi Nobuzane Tsumura Noboru Sogi Momoe Tsuchimoto Willy Chikuma Jack Furukawa Doug Furukawa Toshiake Matsuda Takeshi Kagiyama Julie Tanaka Hiroshi Horace Aigaki Gerald Yoneda Hugh Nishimoro Sandy Omoto Kenji Blanchard Please join me in the show Namo Ami Davids 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 And now I will read three treasures Please join me in that show. Three treasures. Hard is it to be born into human form. Now we are living it. Difficult is it to hear the teachings of the Blessed One. Now we hear it. If we do not deliver ourselves in the pleasant life, no hope is there that we shall be freed from suffering and sorrow in the ocean of birth and death. Let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. I take refuge in the Buddha. May we all together absorb into ourselves the principle of the way to enlightenment and become aware of his supreme teaching. I take refuge in the Dharma. May we all together be submerged in the depths of his doctrine and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. I take refuge in the Sangha. May we all together become units in true accord in the life of harmony and a spirit of universal brotherhood, freed from the bondage of selfishness. Even through ages of myriads of kalpas, hard is it to hear such an excellent, profound, and wonderful doctrine, and now we are able to hear and receive it. Let us thoroughly understand the true meaning of Tathagata's teaching. Namo Ami Davuts. Namo Ami Davuts. Namo Ami Davuts. Namo Davuts. Namo Davuts. Namo 
Hello, and welcome to the Dharma Talk for the June Shotsky service. Please join me in Gasho. As I read from the Yushin Sho Moni, the notes on essentials of faith alone. That Buddha in his causal stage made the universal vow, when beings hear my name and think on me, I will come to welcome each of them, not discriminating between the poor and the rich and the well-born, not discriminating between the inferior and the highly gifted, not choosing the learned and those upholding pure precepts, nor rejecting those who break precepts and whose evil karma is profound, solely making beings turn about and abruptly say, then or abundantly say the Nambutsu, I can make bits of rubble change into gold. Namo Amidabuts. 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 So, um, this is one of my favorite things from this um, book. So this is actually, that part is from the the essentials of faith alone, not necessarily Shinran's notes, but Shinran writes a lot about this. And there's a couple things that I want to read. So literally, these are Shinran's notes on this scroll. So I want you to hear what Shinran had to say. The first thing is, I will come to welcome each of them. Next to this, Shinran wrote, each of them means inclusive, everyone. Welcome means to receive, to await, expressing other power. Come means to return, uh, to be uh, made to come. Thus we are made to come and return to the city of Dharma nature. Since there is coming from the city of Dharma nature into this Saha world to benefit sentient beings, come is to sense, in the sense of to arrive from. Since there is attainment of the enlightenment of the Dharma nature, it means to return. The next part I want to talk about is not discriminating between the poor and the rich and well-born. Not discriminating means not choosing and not rejecting. Poor means the impoverished and those in need. At all is for emphasis, meaning not at all. It also means with and to lead. Rich and well-born indicate the wealthy and the people of rank. Thusly, without in the least differentiating much some amongst such people, Amida leads each and every person to the pure land. And the last thing I want to talk about is I can make bits of rubble change into gold. Shinran states, this is a metaphor. When we entrust ourselves to the Tathagata's primal vow, we are like bits of tile and pebbles, and we are turned into gold. Peddlers and hunters who are all like stones and tiles and pebbles, are grasped and never to be abandoned by the Tathagata's light. Known that this is to come solely about through true Shinjin, we speak that the light grasps us and we are taken into the heart of the Buddha of an hundred light. Thus, Shinjin is said to be diamond-like. So, I want to talk about those three things because not only is today Shotsky service, but this is traditionally also the weekend in which we talk about pride. And being a member of the LGBT community, um, you guys will have to be subjected to my pride Dharma talk. So welcome once again. I love this because I think that this is where we are as a society with the concept of pride and why it exists. And I think this also doesn't just apply to the LGBT community, but rather to all different communities. This Jodo Shinshu teaching is meant for everyone. This is divorced from the values and the expectations, the greed, the anger, the ignorance from the hatred and even the love of this world. Those are all things of our creation. However, the teaching in the Nembutsu, the reaching and calling aspect of Amida Sama is for everyone. In here it says, I will come to welcome each of them. That doesn't mean I will come to welcome some of them. I will come to welcome 
eh, that dude over there. Or you know what? Man, I love that chick. We're going to go and I'm going to welcome her, but not the rest of you because you're not cool enough. Amita comes to welcome each and every one of us. Everyone is embraced, never to be abandoned. We are all grasped in the compassion of the vow. And so our suffering, our sorrow, our heartache is of our own making and our own attachments in this world. The Saha world is of our own creation, the causes and conditions all around us. And when I say our own creation, I don't mean me. I didn't create this. I mean everything in reality. We are not enlightened beings. We are not those that know true suchness. We are those that can understand the concept of suchness existing, but not those to define it, not those to be awash in it, but rather those to look and strive for it. And so when we recognize this and we look and see that each individual being, each individual person is looking for that embracement from the vow, and we're looking for that compassion and looking for that belonging, how is it that we can discriminate upon any single person? Because when we look in the mirror, we see someone that says, I want to be loved. I want to be held and I want to know that everything's going to be okay. No one in the history of people ever has woken up every single moment of their life and been like, you know what? I'm awesome. Because we are all beings who are lonely. We are all beings who are sad and we are all beings who want to belong to a group. We are all beings who don't want to be left alone. And that is why the Nembutsu is here for us because we are grasped and never abandoned, no matter who we are. So me, me Congo, me Caitlin Masher Mace, me, a member of the LGBT community, me, an Irish American, me, a Jodo Shinshu priest, me, a football player. It, those are all definitions of this world. For Amida Sama, for Amida Buddha, the Buddha of infinite light and life, the Buddha of infinite compassion, the Buddha that never stops looking out for me, who never stops making the vow available for me in this Saha world, I am just a lonely child, and that's okay. Because you know what, we can call out and say, hey, I need you. Hey, I need the vow. Hey, I don't want to be alone. And when you say the Nembutsu, Namo Amida Butsu, you are never alone. Amida is there with you and your birth is settled. So no matter what obstacles you come across in this life, no matter what things you don't know the solution to, no matter who tells you you are not good enough, you are always embraced by the vow. There is no qualitative or quantitative filter for namo amida butsu. It reaches everyone equally. So it's our own greed, anger, and ignorance that causes us pain. And so the question we now have to ask is, since we all know that we are embraced by the vow, when we look in the mirror and we feel the pain that's caused by other people, do we want to be the cause of pain for others? Do we want to be the reason other people feel sad? Do we want to be the reason other people feel alone? Do we want to be the people, the person? Do we want to be the reason that other people don't know what to do. And there is nothing in the Kyogo Shinsho and nothing in the Jodo Shinshu teachings that tells you what you have to do. We're not laying out rules of life for you. This is for you to look within yourself and say, what am I and am I embraced by the vow? And the answer is yes, you're always embraced by the vow, but you have to realize that. You have to come past yourself. And so once you realize that in your inner world is settled, you need to decide how you treat other people. And you need to decide how the reflection of this teaching is working its way out from you. So 
on this weekend of pride, and even on this Shotsky, as we look at the reflection of people who have passed reflecting upon us, and we look at them as our great teachers, we have to ask ourselves, how do we want to reflect on other people? Do we want to look to them like bits of rubble who have been turned to gold? I do. I want to have that brilliant sheen of gold. I want to have the vow, the nembutsu shine through me. I want all my brothers and sisters out there to feel welcomed and loved. And so when we say the nembutsu, when we say namo amidabutsu, let's aspire the best we can in our foolish ways to make everyone else feel that coming from us. It's not our power. We're just something to be reflected off of. But let's let the vow reflect through us. And let's let every person, let's help every person as they wake up in the morning feel loved and accepted. Let's help every person feel wanted. Let's let every person know that they are not alone out there. So say Namo Amida Butsu. Share Namo Amida Butsu. And know that no matter who you're looking at, you are no better than they are. And they are no better than you are. Because we are all just children of the vow. Thank you very much for listening. And I will once again read from the notes on essentials of faith alone. So if you could join me in Gosho. That Buddha in the causal stage made the universal vow that when beings hear my name and think on me, I will come to welcome each of them, not discriminating between the poor and the rich and the well-born, not discriminating between the inferior and the highly gifted, not choosing the learned and those upholding pure precepts, nor rejecting those who break precepts and those whose evil karma is profound, solely making beings turn about and abundantly say the Nembutsu. I can make bits of rubble change into gold. Namo Amidabuts. Namo Amidabuts. Namo Amidabuts. Namandabuts, 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 Namandabuts.